Hello, this is Ron Clark. Um, today I'm answering a question from a viewer of my video on step three of initiation to Hermetics. And it has to do with the correspondence between the elements and the senses. Now, there's apparently been some confusion about this. I'm not sure why. It's all quite logical. Okay, fire element is sight. Sight is the most projective of our senses. We can project energy through our eyes. Okay, it is right here in our, the front of our head. It is the most prominent and for most people, for all sighted people, it is the most predominant sense. So, fire elements, the most aggressive, projective sense that we have. Water is hearing. It's not smell or anything else. It's hearing. Uh, water is vibration. It's all about vibration. And it doesn't take air. I mean, a lot of people think hearing is air. Uh, but hearing has nothing to do with air. It has to do with vibration. And we can hear through water. We can hear through several different substances. If we put our ear on the railroad track, you know, we can hear the train coming from miles away. So it's all about vibration. Um, it is our second most prominent sensory organ. Um, yeah, so hearing, water. Air is smell because you have to inhale in order to smell something. It is reliant upon air, okay? Smelling air. Taste is earth, because we're actually ingesting something into our body in order to taste it. So, it's earth, part of digestion and ingestion. Now, akasha is the sense of touch or feeling, because it pervades everything. Our whole body is a sensory organ when it comes to touch. So it's all pervasive. Makes perfect sense, right? Okay, that's it. Short video today. Bye-bye.